Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, we will solve for the mean of a group data. Let us first define a mean. The mean is the most commonly used measure of the center of data. It is also referred as the arithmetic average. The formula in finding the mean for group data is equal to summation of fi times xi all over n, wherein fi is the frequency and xi stands for the class mark, and n is the total frequency of a given group. Let us have our first example. Given the frequency distribution of the scores obtained by 45 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 100-item test, solve for the arithmetic mean. The class intervals and the frequency are given in the first two columns. We will now identify the class mark and the product of the class mark and the frequency. Let us first identify or define what is a class mark. It is a specific point in the center of the bins or categories in a frequency distribution table. It is also the center of a bar in a histogram. It is defined as the average of the upper and the lower class limits. To get the class mark, for the class 21 to 30, that will be 21 plus 30 all over 2, which is equal to 25.5. That means that the class mark of the class 21 to 30 is equal to 25.5. Let us now identify the class mark of each class interval. So from 10, 10 to 21, we have 10 plus 21 divided by 2, which is equal to 15.5. For 22 to 33, we have 22 plus 33 divided by 2, which is equal to 27.5. For 34 to 45, we have 34 plus 45 divided by 2, which is equal to 39.5. Do the same process until the last class interval. We will, you will then have 51.5, 63.5, 75.5, and 87.5. Let us now try to solve what is FIXI. FIXI stands for the product of the frequency and the class midpoint or the class mark. To find the FI and XI for the class interval 10 to 21, we will have 3 times 15.5 which is equal to 46.5. For the class interval 22 to 33, we have 4 times 27.5, which is equal to 110. 6 times 39.5 is equal to 237. 9 times 51.5 is equal to 463.5. And do the same process until the last class interval. At the end, you must add all the products between the class mark or class midpoint and their corresponding frequencies. By adding all the products, you will have 2,569.5. We need also to identify the value of n. n is obtained by adding all the frequencies. So that's 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 10 plus 5 plus 8, which is equal to 45.
to get for the mean of a group data that is summation of fi xi all over n wherein fi stands for the frequency xi stands for the class mark and n is the total frequency on our table the summation of fi and xi is equal to 2569.5 and n is equal to 45 substituting the given values to the formula we will have 2,569.5 divided by 45, which is equal to 57.1. Therefore, the mean of the group is 57.1. That means that the average score of the class on the mathematics test is 57.1. Problem number two. The following table shows the number of plants in a house at a certain barangay in Tondo, Manila during the pandemic. Identify the arithmetic mean of the group. The first two columns indicates the number of plants and the number of houses for each corresponding number of plants. Let us now identify the class mark or the class midpoint of each class interval. For 0 to 2, we have 1, that will be 0 plus 2 divided by 2, which is equal to 1. 3 to 5, we have 3 plus 5 divided by 2, which is equal to 4. 6 plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 7. And do the same process until the last class interval. You will get 10, 13, 16, and 19. Next thing to do is to multiply the frequency to the class midpoint of each class. For 0 to 2 class interval, we have 4 times 1 which is equal to 4. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 3 times 7 is equal to 21. Do the same process until the last class interval and you will get 40, 91, 48, and 76. After finding the product between the number of houses which is the frequency and the class midpoint, you add all the products. Summation of FIXI is equal to 300. Also, determine the value of n by adding the number of frequencies for each class interval. Our n in this example is equal to 30. To solve for the mean, using the values that we have obtained in our table, summation of fi times xi is equal to 300 and n is equal to 30, we will get mean is equal to 300 divided by 30, which is equal to 10. That means that the average number of plants per house during the pandemic is 10. Let us now check your knowledge. The following table shows the scores obtained by 50 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 50 item test. Complete the table and compute for the arithmetic mean. Do not forget to pause this video while you are doing your activity. Good luck! Let us now discuss your work. Here are the answers if you completed the frequency distribution correctly. For class mark, you will have 9.5, 15.5, 21.5, 27.5, 33.5, 39.5, and 45.5.
the values for the product between the number of students and the class mark are 57, 93, 236.5, 192 .5, 301.5, 158, and 318.5. Adding all these products, you will arrive at 1,357. The total number of students is equal to 50. To solve for the mean using the values of the product, which is equal to 1,357, and the value of n, which is equal to 50, that will be mean is equal to 1,357 divided by 50, which is equal to 27.14. That means that the average score of the students in the 50-item test is 27.14. Thank you for watching Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless.